Maybe how shy. Alright, now it's an uh, article. Okay. Basically, um, history that covered, um, well, this article is covering history and archaeology plans. Alright, that, uh, further prove that the Bible is real. In that event, that, um, uh, history had taken place. Lot wise color of thought is still standing till today at Mount Thottom. See photos, all right. So, it's been occurred thousands and thousands of years ago, and it's still standing to this day, all right. To the story of Lot's wife, Lot wife is one of the most interesting and yet sad stories in the Bible. It is a story that bears a very great moral lesson to all Christians. Yes, um, yeah, the story began with when the power wanted to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, so he sent an angel to bring Lot and his family out of Sodom, that they were the only people worth saving. The angel hastily brought Lot, his wife, and two daughters out of their house and sent them going on a hill. He told them vividly to run to the mountain and that none of them should look back. All right, so they hurried on, but Lot's wife, out of curiosity and longing for all she had, I thought him look back, and so instantly she became a pillar of thought. All right, here it is right there. She got thoughtified. All right. Yeah, it's the, it's the, um, the fact that the thing is that this pillar of thought she became still stand to today. Ever since that time, the story of Lot's wife had been passed on, and the location of the pillar had not been forgotten. People who had gone on pilgrim had testified of. Of have seen and even taken little pieces of the thought lot, pieces of the thought lot white became. Scientists and Bible scholars also have attested to this fact that she is the actual lot white whom the Bible, Bible talks about. Alright. That's it. Good, make the truth. Okay. Uh, conscription is third property. It said, um, second energy of the in one, behold, feet down in the air of my people, the word of property, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. Right, because it's the third property. So even also, it tell you that those that would live um, thereafter, like thought of the more. It would be the same face because I thought of the more was an example. All right, and it's going to happen again, right? Because this time it will be uh, destruction will come by fire and not by water, as the whole world was flooded once before. All right, but the archaeological find is what makes the scripture faithful and true. All right, it caused them to be written in the paper of the Bible. But they are faithful and true. See that? So these scriptures are, are true. Okay. Now I go to the story in Genesis. Alright. It's uh, Genesis 19.
can give you the whole story if you want. I'm gonna um, try to go through this. Actually, let's just start. But it's Genesis 18 and 20, and the Lord, how it said, because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great. And because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see whether they have done all together according to the cry of it, which is come unto me. And if not, I will know. And these men turned their faces from them and went toward Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before the Lord. How okay? So basically, this just started where um, the how we're gonna restore Sodom tomorrow. But uh, Abraham was trying to plead the uh, fear of Sodom tomorrow from being destroyed. But it came down to it that it, it was gonna be destroyed. But that his um nephew would be saved out of it all right like they could read all this you want on your own now this is uh, genesis 19 and 1 and there came two angels to sodom at even and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face towards the ground. He said the Lord Sodom. Burning. Ooh. That's an omen. All right. The omen omen. Okay. Because that place literally got burned up. All right. When the fire and brimstone, I was solidified, uh, solidified, uh, uh, sulfur, all right, that was raining down from heaven onto, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, all right, so the place Sodom is burning, see that? And Lot seeing them rode up to meet them. And he bowed himself with his face toward the ground, and he said, Behold, now, my Lord, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and you shall rise up early, and go on your way. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him, and entered into his house, and he made them a feast. And they did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, come past the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. All right? And that's why... They wanted to have sex with him. He says in NLT, they shouted the lot. Where are the men who came to spend the night with you? Bring them out to us so we can have sex with them. All right? Well, they were homos. All right? That's why uh, today a homo is also known as a sodomite. All right? So basically, they send a sodom. All right?
very thick and lock went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him and said, I pray you, brethren, do not go wickedly. Behold, now I have two daughters which have not no men. Virgin, let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you and do ye to them as is good in your, in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing. But therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And they said, stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came in to, to join, and he would need be a judge. Now will we deal work with thee, and then with them. And they pressed forward upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them and shut to the door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they were themselves to find the door. Right. So the angel used a, a power, all right? Like a, probably like a, uh, a, a, a very, very bright light. And the men said unto Lot, Hath thou here any besides son-in-law, and thy son, and thy daughter, and whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of the place? All right. For we will destroy this place. We're going to cry of them. It's waxing great before the faith of the Lord. How much thou try in the, in the tower of your house sent us to destroy it. All right. Because it's it's like now, if they have reached unto, uh, unto heaven, okay? And that's why the faith will be judged as well. One of the reasons why America could be destroyed, all right? Because for uh, they had declared their sin at Sodom and hide it not, all right? They're doing the same thing that Sodom and Gomorrah were doing. Mind you, it was an example for those who were ungodly. But America doing the same thing, but worse. All right, and Lot went out and faked unto his son-in-law, which married his daughter, and said, "Up, get you out of this place." The Lord of how much I try to destroy the city, but he seemed as one that mocked unto his son-in-law. And when the morning arose, then the angel hastened Lot, saying, "Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here." Let thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the man laid hold upon his hand, upon his hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters. The Lord Yahweh being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth and set him without the city. Yeah, it was like, you taking too long. It's time to go. And it came to pass when they brought them forth abroad that he said, Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. All right? There ain't no looking back. All right? That's what, what's something that'll be destroyed. Okay? Behold, now thy servant have, fought, have found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy. Which thou hast showed unto me and saved my life, and I cannot escape to the mountain. Let some evil take me, and I die. Behold, now this city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape to it. Is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. All right. Then the Lord, verse 24, then the Lord, how about that time, ran upon Sodom and ran upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the, from the Lord, how out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plains and all the inhabitants of the city that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of thought. See that? But it actually took place. There's archaeological find prove it. Alright. 
And she actually um, turned back and turned to a pillar of salt. All right. That she was uh, basically, basically she was meant to that place. Okay. She was basically meant to that place. Bottom, all her possessions, by the things that she had, the things that she was doing in that place. Okay. That's why the truth says it, 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 uh, it's harder for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. All right, than it is for a camel to enter into the um, eyes of the needle. All right, which is the entry of the door to a, um, to the town. Okay, so this is the real event that took place. I thought it was there, remember, life wife. Okay. Okay. The same thing gonna happen now. In this time. Alright, when you have us outside, we'll bring a judgment upon, upon America. Okay. So we're gonna have to put, come up out of the wave of Babylon. Alright. That is Luke 17 and 28. Alright, so uh, Luke 17 and uh, That's what he did. All right. Yeah, 25th. And it was in the day of Noah. So shall, be, so shall it be also in the day of the Son of Man. Right. And the people doing the same thing in the daytime. Currently, what they were doing back in the time of Noah. All right. And it's what it said. They did eat, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that no entered into the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. All right. It's just to the Lord it's come as a thief in the night. It is going to happen out of nowhere. Okay. While people are uh, enjoying their time and their life here in America. All right. Not knowing that. Destruction and judgment is coming. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. The flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also, it, likewise, also, as it was in the day of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they brought, they stole, they planted, they built it. All right, and that's what's going on here, here again, too. But the same day that Lot went out and thought him, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Okay? If they even does, shall it be in a day when the Son of Man is revealed? Then what's that what's going to happen? Okay? It's gonna, hey, it's going to be destroyed. America's going to be destroyed. Okay. The second Peter. Two and five. And fear not the old world, but they know it, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. Bringing in the blood upon the whole, like upon the world of the ungodly, and turning the city of Sodom and all right, 
in turning the city of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow. See, we already read about uh, the original account in uh, Genesis 19. All right, now I tell you that this is an end. All right, going back to the history of why this happened, making them an example of the those that after should live ungodly. Okay. Yeah, look at the word example. Strong's G fifty two sixty two Upadagma Upadagma All right now Strong's G fifty two sixty two Upadagma Upadagma a fine suggestion of anything from any nation of a thing representation figure copy. All right, an example. All right, for imitation of the thing to be imitated for a warning of a thing to be shown. Right, to get warning. Okay, well, this is the warning that we uh, by how them throwing out of the more at that time. I was a warning, all right, for people in the future that if they live like Sodom and Gomorrah did, then it was going to be destroyed the same way, all right? It's Ezekiel 3 and 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, therefore hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. And that's what we're doing. All right, we're giving you a warning of how not to live. If you do, you're gonna receive the same faith. All right. All right, we're. Seven, Second Peter two. Where are we at? Verse. Uh, we're at six. The turn the city of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example of the those that after shall live ungodly, and deliver just the lot, best with the filthy conversation of the wicked. See that? They were best by these conversations. Of, of, of people in Babylon. All right, uh, quoted earlier, they declared their sin at Sodom and hide it not. All right, we got Pride Month going on. And here they, 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 they rock the rainbow, but they truly don't understand what the rainbow represents. That was a, a covenant that uh, the Howard would have flooded the earth again. All right, but it's going to destroy it by what? All right. There it is right here. Talk about it. There it is. It's the uh Tech Peter two and three like Second Peter 3 and 6, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. And that was the flood. Alright. That's what Noah was delivered. But the heaven and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire. Alright. Like we just read about Father Gomorrah. It was destroyed by fire and brimstone. So this time to be destroyed by fire, but by what? 
form of nuclear missile. All right, the ICBM missile. We drove up the fire and get the day of judgment and prediction of ungodly men. See that? They're going to be destroyed. All right. Let's go back to Luke 17. All right. 30. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. All right. So all this will happen when the house shall have finally come back. All right. In that day, he which shall be upon the house top and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise without return back. Why? Right, because we're not going to be able to get those things back and whatnot. Verse 32, remember Lot wife. All right. And what we read about Lot wife, how she was uh, basically so sad and and, and, and uh, how she wasn't able to keep her possession that she had in Solomon. All right? Because that's what, you know, what you gather from by extrapolating it. And right here, it tells you, verse 33, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. Right. You try to be uh, okay with America and, 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 and not give up what you got going on here. You know, Trying to uh, have a 10 year plan or a retirement. No, you're going to lose your life. Okay? And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Right, then. You give up your possession. Alright? It's not about the stuff that you have, but it's about the faith and hoping how much I'm trying that you have to be in the living. Alright? And not trusting in your um, substances. Okay? So, when it's just that where your um, mind is basically um, where your heart is is where your treasure is at alright so if you worry about the stuff that you have on earth that's where your heart will lie on so we are friends, uh, building up a spiritual treasure alright and that's where our mind is at alright building up a spiritual treasure where nobody can break into it can rub it can't be destroyed but we are all the stuff you have gathered here on earth is going to be destroyed by fire. Okay? When that time comes. Alright. That's the only difference there. Remember Lot wife. You got to remember what she did. You can't be like that. Okay? You can't look back and be uh, sorrowful or, or be, what is this, how the article put it? They had said so a hurry. So they hurried on but locked wife out of curiosity and longing for all she had at thought of look back. See? So all the stuff she had in thought of she worried about her possession, what she had going and stuff. All right, you can't be like lock wife, okay? Don't look back. All right, because this, this account is true, okay? So if you look back, guess what? You're going to be destroyed. And that's, read this again, take it as a 15 and 2. All right. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Why right, their unbelief? All right, because these people are going to be destroyed. All right. Whether they don't believe that the myths are coming, they don't believe that the uh, RFID chip, it's the MOTB in Revelation 13, they're still going to be destroyed. Okay? So we can't let that bother us. All right, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. See that? So they're all going to die. All right, for being unfaithful in their unfaithfulness. 
Behold, say the Lord, I will bring plague upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For all that is coming. All right, we're going to continue to live on Dolly. We're going to take heed to the Lord's word. And you don't want to come out of the way of Babylon. You're going to be destroyed. What's that? Rock that Yahweh. Rock that Yahweh. Rock that Yahweh. Rock that Yahweh. Shalom.